Hi you guys, today we are back with another Disney Christmas Day. Mom and Dad are with me today and this is exciting because our whole life has been mo moving, basically. And you were like, I haven't experienced anything Disney Christmas no, really this year, like <laughs> really not at all. So we're gonna change that today. This is gonna be like an epic Disney Christmas Day. We're going to Magic Kingdom. We're actually starting off over here at Epcot simply because we always like to park where we're gonna end the night. And who doesn't love to start off the day on the Epcot monorail? And I think it just pulled up here. So if we can make this one, that would be amazing. We're planning to come back here to Epcot tonight and mom and dad also have not yet seen the brand new world celebration area that opened up. So that's gonna be new for That'll you to look see. That'll nice to see it opened yeah. up again. That's, that's great. And I really haven't explored that area too much. I came on opening night, so it was like crazy and crowded. So I'm excited to explore it more get a better opinion of the whole area and everything. So it's gonna be a big Disney day, but we're starting off over at Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna catch the Epcot monorail and head over there now. Are you guys excited? I am. Yeah. I'm so I love Christmas and I wanna see decorations. <laughs> and mom's wearing the iconic Five Below shirt. <laughs> this is the thing of the season. Can't beat the price. Can't beat it. <laughs> Magic Kingdom. Yeah, you haven't even seen the tree yet? Anything? Nothing. Oh, no, it's decorating. exciting. It's this like is so cute. Bobble. I just realized that this is like a ornament, like a little bobble in the flowers in front of the train station. The Main Street tree, it just takes your breath away. Oh, it's so pretty. Now we're heading into the park. I think we might head to People Mover first. We were just going around looking at all the decorations and they have the sign up at the, what is it, City Hall. They have the sign that is the countdown to Christmas and it said 10 days to Christmas. We're here on December 15th and it just hit me. I'm like, oh my gosh, it really is 10 days till Christmas. I don't know how that happened. It just, time is flying. It's, it's kind of crazy. We get 10 days till Christmas. When this is posted, it'll be even less. It's crazy. We got a Christmassy Main Street. We've just been walking around looking at all the decorations that were there in Town Hall. It's so pretty. This is actually a Christmas party night tonight and our tip, we always say this, come to Magic Kingdom on a party day. Typically the crowds are not gonna be as heavy as intense because the park closes at six o'clock today. Yeah. So if you have a park hopper ticket, this is the hack. This is the way to do Magic Kingdom. Except that being said, we're looking at the wait times. It seems like things are kind of up there wait time wise. And that could be because we are 10 days away from Christmas, so you know, but in theory, this should be better than a non-party day. But yeah, People Mover is always like a reliable attraction that shouldn't have that long of a wait. And it's like my family's favorite ride, so we just have to do it every time we're in Magic Kingdom together. Did you know progress city is Epcot? You see, I want something like this in World Celebration. We need like um, a progress city where World Celebration is somehow. That would've been cool. We saw from the people mover, Buzz went down to a 20 minute wait. It seems like we're just flowing right in here. It's, the line's moving pretty fast. So that's a good thing. Without those cells, we'll all be powerless. Without mercy, I'm sorry. It's not going to make a fine time to send them to the For all right, you junior space rangers, listen up. Green Squadron will retreat the power cells, while the rest of you concentrate on those robots. The rendezvous at Plan C. I will remain here at Star Command to coordinate the mission. Battle stations, report to the flight deck for immediate launch to infinity and beyond. Let's see how we do. I'm usually very bad at this one. We're trying recently to do all the things you're supposed to do. The bottom of the volcano, or top of the volcano, bottom of the ship, all the little Easter eggs, the hacks for this ride. So we'll see. Yeah, you one time maxed out. <laughs> well, this is good for me. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We got a few of the the secret spots. Let's see what we are. Oh yeah. We are. I don't know. 
Oh, I'm above him. I'm a space ace. I'm a planetary, planetary pilot. We'll see what that got. What's your score then? 200 and 1,000. So you're both planetary pilots. Oh look, no, I don't think I ever saw that before. Do you see that the ship that goes by? Up there? That's light years, flies by. We've come back down Main Street to look at the decorations and then we're gonna make our way to Epcot. We wanted to see the window displays. Down here is where they have the ones that it's um, a Christmas story. Is that one? A Christmas Carol. The story is Scrooge. Oh, how pretty is that? Yeah, even like these, you have to appreciate like their merchandise window displays. We like our theme trees. It's beautiful. There's the Mickey Christmas Carol window. Oh, look at the door knock, like goofy at the top. We're seeing the story backwards. This is the, the happy ending. God bless us, everyone. Make good choices, Donald. Make good choices, Donald. <laughs> Look at the bed shaking. It's like shivering. This one's pretty. Oh, it looks tea important. And then Marley's ghost. This is my favorite Christmas. Song. Story. Yeah, you watch this every year, don't you? Multiple times, like usually it's on every day. <laughs> Different versions, every version. You have every version on DVD ever created, yes. And here's the beginning of it. These are so intricate. I love it. Yeah, it was a tradition. My dad and I liked it, so every year, he and I would sit down and watch this together, and it was a lot of fun. What's your favorite? So my favorite probably is, um, it's the 1932 version with Alistair Sim. That's my favorite. Dad, your favorite? Let's see, I like all of them because they all have different meanings in a way. So, but Alistair person, Sim is probably my favorite. my favorite. But I always like the ending of the other ones too. George C. Scott did a pretty good job. He was a little more serious. There's a really cool one that I have I have yet, I had never found it yet on YouTube or anywhere, but it took, it starred um, Mike Farrell. I think it was Mike Farrell from Ash and Marley Thomas, but the roles were reversed. She was the one that was in charge and she was the one that lost the money and all that stuff. Interesting. There you go. So now where are we off to? Epcot. Epcot. Yes, we're hungry. We want food. Let's go. But you got to see Magic Kingdom at Christmas. Yes. Yay! Beautiful. Okay, so now we left Magic Kingdom, just took the monorail to the TTC, and now we're gonna get the monorail back to Epcot. That's how we started the day. But this time, when you come back into Epcot, you get to actually go like the the train goes through the park. And I've been really wanting to see like the rest of the construction of World Celebration when we're gonna have that whole other building over there open and everything and you'll get to see from up above like just everything complete which i haven't seen that either just everything complete so it's gonna be these guys first time in world celebration once we get over to epcot are you excited for world celebration you think it'll be good i think it'll be good okay you think it'll be good i think it'll be good yeah. i mean it's not there's no rides or anything like that but the area is just nice improved and, exactly. and pretty yeah Here's my first time seeing World Celebration from the sky since it's opened. You can still see the construction for this area. And every time that I park in 407 in the parking lot, this is the perfect opportunity to tell you guys when you're looking to plan your vacation, go ahead and contact my friends over at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They would be so happy to help you in planning your next Disney Universal vacation or vacation to anywhere that you want to go. So we just came back to the car to actually get sweatshirts because it's getting a little, oh my gosh, look at my hair. <laughs> my hair is blowing all over the place. It's getting oh, a little yeah. bit breezy, a little bit chilly, but 
It's a nice, nice day, nonetheless. Yeah. Well, yeah. we better get out now. That's why I was thinking because this weekend Florida has a impact weekend. Yeah. It's supposed to be rainy. Yeah. Cold. Yeah. I don't know so much cold, but very, very rainy. It'll very, probably be kind yeah. of damp and cold. So yeah, we're getting out today to go do some stuff. So yeah, we got our sweatshirts on and we're gonna go into Epcot. We're gonna go see World Celebration. We're going to do um, Living with the Land with the Christmas overlay, because mom and dad haven't seen that yet this season. And um, eat all the things, we're hungry. We wanna go eat the festival, the holidays things. Yes, I'd like to do Soren again too, but um, depends on the wait time, we'll see, because it's the, Soren over California version, which I like so yes. much better. So we have to appreciate it while we have it. It'd be amazing if they would just like, I keep waiting for the announcement that they're gonna like keep it permanently. That'd be amazing. I need that to happen. <laughs> Here we go, mom and dad's first time in World Celebration. My second time ever in World Celebration. Oh, here comes Daisy. <laughs> The line to get a picture with Walt is not very bad today. On opening day, it was like all rope back through there. They had to set up a specific queue line. And they do have a photo pass now out in front of Walt Disney. There's Walt. <laughs> And here's kind of a better like overview. This is my first time seeing it in like the full daytime. The first time I was in here was already starting to be kind of sunset time. So it's nice to see it in the daylight. I miss Fountain and Nations, I really do, but this is a nice area to be able to sit down. Like they have all the seating. I think it's the concept everyone's talking about. Grab a Starbucks or eventually, I think they're gonna have more festival booths maybe over this way. Grab food and you can just kind of chill back here. I'd like to just sit over here in these Adirondack Yes, chairs. look at this. This was something I missed the first time I was here. They actually have Adirondack chairs. So yeah, that's, that's nice. Get your Starbucks and just sit there. <laughs> yep, yeah, get your Starbucks and chill. We also do have a new music loop. Let me know what you think of it. It's good, I like it. Mom did say there's something about that classic original Epcot music. When they did for the 40th anniversary, that throwback day where they had the original music loop, that was really special. That can never be beat. But I do like this, I do. It's growing on me. If there would have been a fountain feature, then I would have been 100% in love. So you see, I think this whole area, they're thinking you're gonna have like your foods and be able to sit, you know. And they're still working on, this will be eventually kind of like a festival center. They're also gonna have character meet and greets in there. All of that. Yeah, it's definitely growing on me. The fountain would have made it 100% perfect. Oh yeah, this part doesn't light up. There's only one small section that lights up. And that's the thing. I would have loved if there was more of the fairy lights like before. But anyway, now on to food. Yes. Let's go, festival of the holidays. A lot of these things sound so good, but we said we need savory first. We're gonna get savory and then we're definitely having a sweet treat before the end of the day. We're in the UK and we love this detail right here. They have Christmas crackers in the garland. That's actually a tradition that we started couple years, like for the past couple years, my mom has bought crackers. One year we even made our own Christmas crackers. Oh, here's some English chocolate, Quality Streets. I've not tried this brand. My British friends have me obsessed with roses. I don't see roses though. Pierre Noel is here in France. Saint Nicholas from France. Father Christmas, hi. And the good spirit of this season. That's a joy for me to see all of you in such good spirit. Matilda, I have another question for you. Have any of you, or your petit enfant, 
Have you, have you ever written a letter to my friend Santa at the North Pole? Uh, you big people, you can admit this too. Where? Oh, uh, listen. Dear Père Noël, even though my big brother Francois says Christmas is for babies, I look forward to La Vie de Petit Jésus and a visit from you. <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> the Vox Night or the Vox Night? Yeah, Christmas Eve. Eh? The Vox Night. The Vox Night is a magical evening when my family sits in front of the fire, sipping hot cider, and Uncle Louis tells the story of the birth of the baby Jesus. She goes on to say that her brother teases her about this. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël. But for me, nothing surpasses the magic of the Vox night. The fragile beauty of a child's face. Christmas morning. Christmas still several days away, Uncle Louis secretly decorated the tree, and Francois got Baba to set up the crash. Oh, you know this one? Crash? Uh, the nativity scene. One of the most important symbols of Christmas to be French. First item we're going to get from Lahayam, the potato laki. And we love potato lakis. A first in New York whiskey sour. Oh, that would be really like good. Like whiskey sour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you want that? Blackberry wine. Wow. That's throw back to my childhood. Oh. I have the sweet Manischewitz uh, wine at Christmas. <laughs> There's Olaf up there. We haven't done this yet. We love our scavenger hunts. We haven't done a Christmas, yeah, Epcot scavenger hunt yet. And the sad part is. I'm going to be locked out. Your dad and I are locked out in the park because we have a different pass now. We downgraded. To but, the Florida uh, resident, yeah, yes. So we're, well, we might still have one visit I back. Think I think you're going to have another visit back. More time. It's yeah. also a lot with, with trying to pack and, and move ourselves so we're yes. finally settled. <laughs> well, the Hanukkah storyteller is out here. That happened so long ago. But how do we remember that miracle? Families gather together and they share traditions. Now, in my family, we eat, we sing songs, we eat, we exchange presents. Did I mention that we eat? I did, okay. Oh, I can smell it now. Potatoes and onions frying in oil as dad flips the latkes. And sweet sugar fills the air as mom coats the fried jelly donuts. See, during Hanukkah, we eat foods fried in oil to remember the oil that kept the candles burning. And then, when the sun sets and the house grows quiet, and it's time to light the menorah. And here it is. Here's our latka. Potato latka. Potato latka. 10 out of 10. That was so good. It had like a nice, like, cream based sauce on it. Kind of like amazing sauce. Yes. Kind of, yeah, it was really good. Did you like that, Dad? What's that? The, the potato latke. Potato latke is very good. 10 out of 10. Okay, now we're in America. We're going to get from the American holiday table the turkey dish. This is like one of our favorites. We loved it last year. I've had it this year and it's so good. It's such a nice portion of it's literally like Thanksgiving dinner. You get the turkey, stuffing, cranberry. It, it's amazing. And here we have it, the turkey dinner. We got two of them because we knew this would be something we want to fill up on. This is a good dinner. Yes. That turkey was 10 out of 10. Amazing. Now we're completing our lap of world showcase. I think we're going to go for dessert now. Oh, possibly that's souffle though from the Disney 100 booth. Yes, the souffle. We just came inside the Mexico Pavilion and I love this place year round. I've always been fascinated. Ever since I was little, I've been fascinated with like the indoor outdoor feel that it has in here. You're inside, but you feel like you're outside in a little night market. But 
at Christmas. It's just even more magical. Yeah, Look nice. at all the garland. <laughs> Dad just found these. We all know Dad has his Volkswagen bug now down here in Florida. And aren't these gorgeous? Yeah, they're all $29.99. They have the Volkswagen bus and the Beetle. Oh, and a truck. Here it is, Wine and Wedge. So this is part of the Disney 100 booths. And mom's favorite thing was this Borson fig and balsamic souffle. And yeah, this is a must get. I love that. So we're gonna get one right now. That souffle, 10 out of 10. We've had a 10 out of 10 day. It has been a 10 out of 10 day. Like seriously, everything at this festival is so good. And well, that thing is specifically the Disney 100 booth. And try that. Like seriously, it's so good. At first I didn't know what to expect the first time we got it, but it's a warm souffle bread with um the cheese and the, it's like sweet and savory and it's just, oh, it's warm and delicious. It's so good, so, so good. The big um, balsamic component, oh my gosh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now we're going to go ride um, Living with the Land for the holiday overlay. It's gonna be their first time for the season to see that. So I'm excited. I always love living with the lamb. Yeah. No matter what time of year it is, I love living with the lamb. They but do a good job with the overlay. They do. Though. Yeah. I love all the Christmas lights. They're really pretty. It's beautiful. And this is now, we're getting to the time of night that it's very overcast right now and the sun is getting ready to set relatively soon. So it's a good time to go. You want to make sure that all the lights can be seen when you ride this one. Definitely save it for later on in, the, in your Epcot day so you can fully appreciate the lights. This is one that I'm so happy they do this, that they give my favorite ride a holiday overlay. We know what you and I I just love this overlay so much. This is the coolest thing ever. I mean, look at this. Just when we thought living with the land couldn't get any better. Ginger One of the vanilla. living with the land and lizards is all in that bobble. It's so funny. And other oh my gosh. By cultivating these fish. Yeah, it's all of <laughs> Who is it, Matt? There she is. The Arthur. Well, here's the best surprise in December. We have babies. We have baby ducks. This is usually not baby duck season. Usually it's in the spring. Six so far. Oh, and there's a mama up there watching. Oh, look where they go. The little ramp. I can't. I can't. Look at these two. Are they're chasing each other? Them going up the ramp is my favorite thing. Oh, he's going under the ramp. Okay. Yeah, moms are watching. The other babies got brave and they went all the way, all the way over here. Where'd the babies go? She keeps going under the ramp. I was like, I gotta get in here. Gotta go round up the other round up the babies. <laughs> After living with Alaya, we're now ready for a sweet treat of some sort. And yeah, this is what me and Violet had that, the frozen caramel hot chocolate. It was amazing. Mom wants to try it. I might get it again too, because it was really, really good. It's amazing. Here we go. Cheers, Mom. Cheers. You have to let me know what you think. It's delicious, right? Very good. Oh, yeah. Very creamy. Okay, so we are now heading out of Epcot. This was a fun, fun day. We went to Magic first and Epcot. Also, Mom just said these milkshakes remind her of um, the Hershey Park milkshakes. And it like unlocked a memory for me. Like that totally is what that tastes like to me. I love it. But, yeah, I think it's like that Hershey syrupy taste. Yes, whatever. there's something about it that is very Hershey's chocolate. But Which our there, friends from the UK will say Hershey's is not good. Not good. <laughs> I like it. Violet, you like this. I'm pretty sure she liked this when we had it. 
But anyway, so yeah, with that, make today magical, and we'll see you soon with another Christmas video. Bye!